Welcome to modify your extension so it's compatible with the version 24.1 point something something something. Hey, I'm Eric and um, this is the season of, uh, of emails from Microsoft regarding the you no know, the upgrade to the next version and and this happens every six months a major version is about to come out and um, what Microsoft are doing and and this is this is actually it's super cool and 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 a great service they go through every single tenant and they say okay these are all the extensions you have installed whatever they are uh, and uh, let's uh, let's see if um, if they can compile on the next version um, and if they cannot compile We'll send an email to uh, the recipients uh, in, you set up in Admin Center to let you know about, hey, you have an extension with an issue. What we and 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 at up to this point, this is you know this is great. Uh, the email itself does create a bit of confusion and is hard to read. So I thought. Um, how about we read it together? I, I have collected a, uh, a, a small collection here, as, uh, and and let's go through this and uh, and and demystify this email. Um, so here is the first one, and uh, uh, first of all, for some reason, it's formatted to be it doesn't matter. How 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 big your monitor is? Uh, no, uh, one size fits all, I guess. So uh, so it it's formatted to um, to be very narrow, and and that's kind of not helping the content anyway. So modify your extension. So it's but anyway, some mail systems can do this. So we'll we'll do this. Modify your extension so it's compatible with the version. 24.1.17188.0. So apart from the gram grammatical weirdness in, in, in the title, this is already confusing because 24.1. So my, my, my tenant here is probably on 23.4 or 5 at this point, And I know that 24.0 is coming. So does this mean that I can safely upgrade to 24.0 and 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 I cannot upgrade from 21.0 to 20 20 24.0 to 24.1 or is this actually a warning about something that will not work with 24.0 um, I think and, and and if there's anybody from Microsoft uh, on the line here, feel free to clarify this in the comments below. You know the box if you're subscribed, of course, um, because I know I have a burning platform. Is my burning platform that I cannot even go to 24 or is my burning platform that I cannot go to 24.1? Um, that is kind of weird. Um, anyway, so we're making changes in the next version, doo -doo -doo -doo, and in this case, this is a uh, an email from one of my customers. Uh, so this is about their customization app. Uh, so it tells me the the name of the app and the, the version and who has published it, and all good. And then we get the extension validation result. Right now, I think there are, there are variations of this mail coming out where for some reason this section is missing, um, which is kind of weird. Um, uh, so if you have that, then, um, but, but the examples I have here, we have the validation results. So this is just a blurb. Again, going back to the formatting of this email, it's just a blurb of, of data that you kind of have to read into in order to, um, uh, figure out what is going on. But let's look at this together. So in reality, in this case, this app has two issues. So there, there's a, a 
AL file, data conversion folder, import bank statement lines.al, line 21, uh, character 34. Field type is removed. Reason this field is prone to confusion and is redundant. A type uh, a type difference can be manually a type and then difference capital letters can be manually tracked and a type check ledger entry and and a type check ledger ledger check ledger entry has a related bank account ledger entry track tech twenty four. So this one's saying that in reality something has been made obsolete for 24.0. Going back to the whole what's what's happening up above. Um, and um, apparently this piece of code is using the type field that has been made uh, obsolete. Looking at this thing, huh, data conversions. This is probably something in in our initial data conversion where we converted some bank statements from an old system to to bc so in, in reality i can probably just get rid of this thing um but then you can see that the next one starts here so there's not even a line break between the the the, the different issues so the next issue starts here um so data conversion this is the same thing again and it's the same line, just a few characters more to the right. So maybe this is a validation where we again we have the, uh, the using this this type field. Um, what is also interesting right now here is that. The, the the clunky a type difference can be manually tracked and a type check ledger and ledger entry has a related bank account ledger entry so it actually matters what you put into uh, into the obsolete message now uh, and and often right now I'm not actually sh sure what, what this is supposed to mean uh, but 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 clearly it means something uh so so when you obsolete stuff the message you put in will at some point can be instructional to to somebody else uh so let's make it instructional um the rest of this is just telling the uh the, the information in what environment, uh, which is kind of weird that we can see all the way down here it says, this is the environment it's in. Uh, it might actually, oh, it's also up here, sorry. So in this case, it's also up here. So that's one example. Let's, uh, let's grab the next one. And this is still small. Um, I think this is our internal system, actually. Oh, it does the eFocus dev sandbox. So that's all probably an old version of this. So the format is the same. So in this case, extension validation region. So now we get the apps report posted percent two o sales percent two o invoice. Uh, code unit O365 sales invoice management is missing. Um clearly this is some sort of invoice. So so the percent twenty here is because the name you get out of this does not support spaces so so you won't see the the proper spaces so percent 20 is the hex 32 the two this is hex so 2 times 16 is 32 and 0 is still 0 so uh, 0 plus 32 is still 32 which is the ascii character for space um but it, this is this is another typical thing that can happen that at some point before we got report extensions or if you have those reports that are hard to extend you make a copy of the the, the base object and um, and then at some point microsoft make another change so the 0365 sales invoice management code unit is is gone apparently replaced by something else and microsoft have fixed their own invoice but my copy for some reason they didn't fix my copy 
Um, how rude. Uh, so I have to do that myself. Um, and um, that's pretty straightforward. So uh, let's uh, let's grab the next one. And we have. So here's another one from one of my customers. I think it's the same customer actually. Um, we can see here. Here the the formatting actually almost is readable. Uh, so there are, there are four box here. So API sales invoice full simple object designer dot API page dot al arrow al o one thirty two record sales invoice header does not contain a definition for last email sent time. And we can see that it's actually the same arrow four times. So last email sent status sent as email last email notif cleared. So the old email fields are gone. They have probably been obsoleted for uh, quite a few versions now. Um, and for some reason they were included at some point in, in an API page. So in this case, the, the client will have to go in and uh, in, with simple object design just regenerate their, their extension and it'll figure out that these fields are no longer there and get rid of them. Um, but you can have the same thing that you have at some point, you know, in a data set of a report or an API like this or something else, you have a, included a field that was actually obsoleted at some point uh, and ignored the, the warnings that this is an obsolete field um, and now it's gone. So, and this is, the fun thing is that this one is actually almost formatted so nicely. I would still, if 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 I was if I was creating these emails, I would uh, I would take each error and uh, and you know format them with a this is the file, this is the location, this is the error. Uh, somehow make it look nice. Um, let's grab the last one because here we got something else. So again, we need to make it wide. So this one is. It's interesting. Um, page extension. So, so this is actually out of another one of my apps. This is the uh, advanced cloud security. So somebody has applied security to something that is located on pages that are no longer there, apparently. The target page 32, 13, 23, 13 for the extension object is not found. Uh, Again, we, we're getting lucky with the formatting that we actually sort of get one one arrow per per, per paragraph here. Uh, but that's just luck because it's the same error all the time. Uh, because as we saw on, on, on this one, that it, it's not always the case. Um, but here apparently either these pages has been removed or they have been marked as as no longer uh, extensible um, and or change we got another error here uh, the name rec does not exist in the current context uh, the name rec does not contain in the current context so something has changed uh, and and in this case, with advanced cloud security, you regenerate the world, and then everything is happy again. Uh, but you can have the same thing that you have actually extended something that Microsoft changes, removes, uh, uh, move around. There's been a bit of a, you know housekeeping uh, on 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 what is where. Um, and and you, this might also be the victim of that. I haven't even looked into what these pages are, um, but apparently they they used to work in twenty three, and now they won't work in twenty four. Something. So the conclusion is that this is a really really good email, if you can see through the. 
the rudimentary formatting. Uh, I would love for Microsoft to uh, to spend you know that tiny amount of energy. Now they have such a good solution. Just you no, know, give go the last mile and 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 just format it nicely instead. Uh, so it's much easier for people to read and. Whether it's 24.0, 24.1, you got to fix it. Uh, and if, if this is something that, you know, you, you have um, something that changes in, it, it's working in, in, in some way in a current version, and then you have to do it in a new way in the next version. What you can do is that you can deploy an app to be for the next version. So, so when you when you deploy an app through extension uh, extension management, you can define whether it's for the current or the next major next minor. So you have the option of you know having the, your your working version right now in twenty three, and then upload an app that will sit and wait until you try to upgrade. Um, with with one little asterisk next to that, that that one. I, I actually haven't done it for a while, so this might have, I might not be updated completely on this, but that usually prevented you from updating an app on current uh, if you have one sitting for next major. So so do it just before uh, to avoid uh, any interruptions. Anyway, now we have read some emails together, uh, and uh, and if you need some ale hacking, this video is for you. Check it out. It's a good one. I'll see you there. Bye.